Hey there YouTube, Vagabond Mel here and today is October 19th I think and it's 60 degrees out and I'm just gonna take my my spider to work I don't know if you guys noticed that I stopped going to Starbucks and started making my own London Fog Latte. Now I, I get to save $5 a day. There's kids, kids playing baseball. There's scary ghosts. There's my Cheshire High School that I went to when I was a kid. Cheshire High. And it's the homecoming dance. That looks like a picture, a pretty picture. There is not a cloud in the sky today. I set up my life in a way where I don't have to do much. And my whole life, since I was a little girl, all I wanted to do was have fun and lay around and just, just do things on my own time. And I created a life where I was able to build that for myself. It is so beautiful out with the trees. Oh my Lord, they're beautiful. The landlord is going to fix the potholes on Thursday. So I'm here. I'm just going to talk to you later. So I am out of work. The sun is still shining. And uh, I'm going to go see my, my dad. warm out today. It does feel warm. Look at the beautiful trees. Beautiful trees. That one looks like a little weeping willow over there. Weeping willows, I don't think they change color. They might get a little bit yellow where the sun hits them. So just to give you an update on my big project that I'm working on, it's uh, it's hard for me to know where to begin because um, it's a very big, big subject to tackle. And uh, I have been thinking about it my whole life, the meaning to existence and what all this even means, like uh, why we're here. And uh, I, I thought about it so much, so I, I do know what to write. I just don't know where to begin or how to word things because it's, it's all in my head, you know, all this stuff. Can't easily put things into words where people could understand unless I, I make it poetic, but I'm not, I'm not a poet. Um, so I, I, I do want to tell you about the weird experience I had when I was nine years old. I already told you a couple of my weird experiences. And um, I haven't mentioned this one yet, but um, so two weird things actually happened, not just one. My grandmother on my dad's side, 
she's she's the one that I take after. I look exactly like her. People say I have her mannerisms and I'm, you know, I'm great with kids and I'm compassionate and it, I was just like a little Helen. And um well, she passed away when I was 9 years old from colon cancer. And uh you know, it, it's horrible. Things like this. This is the first time I ever saw my dad cry. And, um, so after she passed away, oh, I'm going. After my grandma passed away, I was at her funeral. And,. I have two little cousins, Becky and Rachel, who are a year and a half younger than me, which is a big difference when you're a young kid. A year and a half is a, a big difference. And we were laying outside on the grass. We were, um, we were just looking up at the sky and saying our prayers and our farewell to our grandma and um, I forgot it was me who said it or one of the girls but we asked grandma we said Grammy if you're up there can you can you make a Cheerio in the clouds just make make one of the clouds look like a ring so we know you're there and we know you're listening and we could not believe it but I swear to God a ring formed in the clouds plain as day it wasn't there before it just appeared miraculously and we're like oh my god she's here she's really here like the Becky and Rachel they were I think they were a little scared I don't I don't know but I was just fascinated with this I was like I can't, I can't believe it she's still here with us she's she's she hears us and it, it blew my mind and I mean when that happens to you when you're a little kid it stays with you you know um, so my whole life it stayed with me and never forgot it and then listen to this something even more profound my grandmother did visit me uh, after she passed away so I, I was nine years old and it happened a little bit after the funeral when she came to visit me and it happened while I was sleeping she came into my room and I was out of my body and I remember this very clearly that I was I was fully awake I was lucid I knew what was happening and that's that's the important thing to know here because when you're sleeping you really don't have any control over your your mind your mind is kind of you know off off doing its own little thing but I was conscious during her visit and she took me outside the house. I can't remember exactly how we, how we left the house, if it was through the front door or we just floated out a window. I, I really can't remember how we got out or how we came back, but I do remember we were in my bedroom and we next thing I knew we were outside the bedroom in my front yard and my grandmother said let's go walk up the street to the plaza because it's a, a wide open area there's no trees and I said yeah sure I'll go I'll go take a walk with you Grammy so we walked up the street to the plaza it was dark outside this this was nighttime and the whole place was empty there wasn't 
I, I didn't see any cars. I didn't really pay attention to the cars or any of that stuff. I don't know. But I do remember she took my hand and said, okay, now we fly. And I said, fly? I can't fly. So she started flying around in the night sky, having fun, a big smile on her face. And then she came back down to me and she said, now you try, you just hold my hand. So I, I held her hand and she took me up in the air and we flew around together. And uh, I, I wanna cry just remembering. I don't know why she picked me because we had a, a pretty big family but she picked me and I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this actually happened and she she was there she was really there and I don't doubt it at all Then she, she hugged me goodbye and brought me back home. And the next day I told my mom, you know what, I don't even think I, uh, I waited the next day. I just, um, as soon as I came back to my bed, I told my mom immediately I got up and I was like, Mom, you're not gonna believe what just happened to me. Grammy came to visit me. And like I said before, you know, my mom, she always believed us kids when we had a weird story. <laughs> she always believed us. And um, I wanted to tell my dad, but he was in pretty, pretty rough shape, so we didn't talk too much about it with my dad. Um, but yeah, it actually happened. And having something like that happen, it, I mean, you, you, you can't revert back to your old, uh, old ways of thinking about life it's just um she gave me a wonderful gift of of knowing that there's more to this life than the physical world and and our our conscious our um, souls are eternal that's a wonderful gift to have and she she gave it to me and I don't I don't know why she picked me. <clears throat> but I feel like uh, whenever I have these um, weird experiences, I, I feel like really compelled to share them with the world. So all these years, these 44 years, I've been thinking about all of this, just really, pondering how how every all this can can be possible and and that's why I started my my other YouTube channel that is uh, mainly just focused on science and how science ties in with the spiritual and um when I post my my first episode in the series, I'm going to uh, share it with you guys because I feel like that's what that's what I need to do. I need to get it out there for for me too because you forget stuff. Like you, it's so easy to forget stuff. Okay, I'm gonna cut through the so. We're actually going into the plaza right now. The plaza that 
my grandma took me to so we could fly around together. It's actually um, this plaza right here where Stop and Shop is. We were actually just here yesterday recycling cans. It felt just like yesterday and you know what? It was yesterday. We were recycling cans. <laughs> and uh, I think we got $8 and we bought a large turkey grinder to split me and Liz, look at the pretty flowers. Aren't they so nice? So nice. It'd be cool if the flowers were red and white because uh, that's the color of our high school, high school colors. Red and white. But this is nice too. <laughs> so I'm going to go visit my dad. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's it for today. I will, uh, I will see you guys soon though. Um, possibly tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.